And today we're going to kind of show you a quick look at some of the reembossed mock green fluorides that come out of the Orange River, sitting in the Northern Cape, just outside Cockamas. Uh, we were down there for a few years in a row getting some of the material that the locals were digging from the village of Reembos Mott. And after they dig it, then we buy it, we take it into Cockamus, we pack it up and put it in these boxes and then we ship it over ocean freight. So we're going to kind of give you a look here real quick on what the material looks like raw before we start to work on it. So, let me get a few of these out of the paper. And we really wrap that up good. So, here's a look here as it's coming out of the seams that they're digging. You can see some octahedron sticking up here. Here's some of the quartz that's commonly associated with it. We want to try to get this cleaned up prior to removing the quartz off of the green octahedrons. Some pieces at the locality do come out without the quartz covering it. They are kind of clean, but they've encountered quite a bit of surface etching on the octahedrons. So there's a rather large piece. You can see here the bulk fluorite. Here's some more of the, you can see the quartz sticking up here. So that's pretty clean quartz too, once it gets cleaned up. Let's take another quick look here. See if we nice small ones that have a little bit more relief. Here you can see the outline of the octahedrons. Mud needs to come off of course. And then depending on where they're at digging, the further down in the deposit that they got, the cleaner the octahedrons were because the weathering was less and less on the pieces. Here you can see one of the octahedrons hiding in this little group of quartz here. So what we'd like to do here is we're going to do a pre-clean on these before we get them ready to do some waxing. Here's some pieces we've got set aside where we've pre-cleaned them. We're trying to get the quartz as clean as possible, so once we outline the shape of the piece we want and where we want to take off the quartz and show the green octahedrons, once we take off the wax, then we're completely done with the specimen. So let's take a look on inside and we'll see how they're doing on the waxing. Hey everybody, here's a piece that uh, we forgot to show you there just in the earlier installment on how large the pieces get. This one came wrapped up in its own box. This is a piece out of the deposit with crystals up to about 7 inches, tip to tip. It's pretty well completely crystallized all the way around, of course, with some areas that are going to be better than other areas. One interesting thing about pieces like this is, uh, I was mentioning to Elvis, our cameraman here a few minutes ago, is at the locality, anytime you saw the really white quartz instead of this deep, saturated color up here, the elements have gotten between the quartz and the fluorite. So a lot of times at the shows when you see the clean pieces, some of them have kind of an etched luster or etched faces. That's because over the millennia that these were sitting in the ground with the mud, the elements were working between these two. Whereas up here, you've got still a tight suture fit against between the fluorite and the quartz. So this is normally when you'll get the more transparent octahedrons and a very smooth face. So Let's go ahead and put this back and we're going to head on inside and we're going to take a look at the waxing process and how we outline the pieces to end up giving you a finished product in the store. Hi hey everybody, it's Marco Basso again. We're back with the Reembos Mach Green Fluoride Octahedrons from the Orange River. And here we have some pieces like we showed you in the back that have been pre-cleaned. They're waiting to be cut out with the wax to kind of show what the piece is going to look like when it's done after we take off the quartz.
from the green octahedrons and hopefully leave the good quartz crystals as a contrast. So we're going to step back here. We've got uh, one of our employees here, Sally Lugo from the University of Arizona. If you want to say hi, Sally, she's studying um, journalism. journalism and photography. And you're a sophomore this year, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So what's happening is Sally takes the pieces that we showed that were slightly pre-cleaned. And then she comes in and kind of cuts in the desired look she's looking for. She covers up the quartz she wants to keep on the finished specimen. And then what's going to happen is, is we take off the quartz from these green octahedrons and then hopefully we have nice shiny green octahedrons left and somewhat bright quartz after we take off the wax. And at that point, hopefully we have a specimen we can sell to the public there. So after she gets done cutting in, then she goes back and applies quite a few layers of the wax to the piece. So that way we don't damage any of the quartz as we're taking the quartz we want to keep as we're taking off the quartz we want to not keep. So she's basically making these giant jelly beany looking things. So that way then I can work on it and hopefully create a specimen. So what we'll do now is we're going to back up over here and we'll show you a few of the pieces after we've taken off the... Well, I guess before we jump to where we show you where we've taken off the wax, here's the little pieces waiting to be worked on. You can see it's pretty thick on here. That way when I get aggressive with this stuff, I'm not damaging the parts we want to keep. So we've lumped it on there pretty good. I've done some pre-shaping down here to get the matrix thinned out a little bit. So now we'll move on here and we'll show you what everybody wants to normally see at the show. Here we have some of our finished pieces. And you can see here, this is what would have had the wax on it. This is what we wanted to keep as we were removing the quartz from off of the green octahedrons. And uh, if you were paying attention in the first part of the segment of this video, this has kind of the slightly etched surface, so this is some of the stuff that had the quartz that was really white instead of the kind of deep saturated green underneath the quartz. There's some of that. That one came out quite nice there. And then we get um, into our fantasy pieces here. came out particularly good but you can see here we just kept the quartz on the lower part give a little bit of accent to the octahedrons up here and these are pretty sharp so there wasn't much uh, wasn't much etching done on these and this was a particularly nice large piece here that actually turned out to be quite interesting because this part of the quartz is actually a cast that was over a giant octahedron and then more octahedrons grew on top of the quartz so it's the paragenesis in this was kind of interesting for what was going on we were able to keep the middle layer of quartz this had popped off the original octahedron at the locality obviously years before because it's been recrystallized so we were able to keep that and we removed the quartz from the octahedrons and we ended up with this fine display piece here.